in this country in the last seventy years. Many achievements are there. We have built businesses, we have built industry, our scientists are going to Mars. But of all these things, the most significant achievement for us is that our poor farmer, without any infrastructure, hardly any technology, just with traditional knowledge, he's been feeding over a billion people. This is not a small thing, but we are taking that away from him. Today, go out and ask anybody, any farmer, how many of them want their children to go into farming? It is less than fifteen percent. In another twenty years, twenty-five years, you will see, you will not know how to grow food in this country. In the last twelve years, three lakh farmers have committed suicide. Even in a war, that many people don't die. This is happening essentially because of the investment that goes into irrigation projects and inability to access market. I was just talking to a Tamil Nadu farmer who is twenty-seven years of age. He says he has sunk nine bore wells in three and a half acres. He's never going to make it. He has to either sell the land or run away from the village or hang from a tree. It's very important that farming is made into an attractive process, economically very attractive process so that youth will get engaged with farming. This will only happen if the irrigation and the marketing, large companies take it up. These two things can never be addressed unless there is scale. One reason why rural population can never scale up is because the land holdings are so small. With that level of land, there is no way to invest or to organize or to, you know, be able to leverage the market, there is no possibility. So one solution that we are asking for is to farm large-scale farmers, producers, organizations. See, if let us say ten thousand farmers came together as a farmers producers organization, if ten thousand farmers came together, let's say on an average three, four acres if they own also, it's thirty, forty thousand acres. This does not mean integration of land, just aggregation of irrigation and aggregation of marketing forces and aggregation of uh, value addition aspects of the agricultural produce. If land is properly demarcated and irrigated and irrigation is managed by a company, nearly 500 million people, they will be available for ancillary, alternate and value addition activity. If we provide the necessary skills and opportunities and bank loans and stuff, mm -hmm. you will spawn a whole revolution in the rural India. And if marketing is also taken over by companies which are capable of doing this, farmer focuses on just producing food, it is very easy within three years' time that you can multiply agricultural income in terms of economic value at least by three hundred percent. And we've been appealing to the government because in this country individual agricultural uh, income is not taxed. But if you organize yourself as a farmer's producer's organization, you get thirty percent tax. Fortunately, in this budget they responded that the tax on the FPO has been taken away. We have a farmer's producer organization near Coimbatore. I gave three young people three smartphones. They just renegotiate the produce every day. With this, the farmer's income has doubled. One pagadi le vada yaradi, no one pagadi ki naam kondu paaradu vande. Inne ki vayavari ke da kondu paaranga. Andha vayavari kondu paaye abide laava madhi ke maadai rangaloliya. Urpati vandra vanke laava mille. Tenga porda thale rate patingi na varangu vurthur oru mari solitan danga. Ipin da kulu aram chipinadi patingi na tenga porda thale vande engalke prachana koranjade. Engalke adaliye oru tenga ik vande muppadi visa koranjade. Inda muppadi visa engarde engalke oru yar kuri eru tanj percent vidyas padam bade adu oru periya periyojan marthade. நாங்கள் பயிர்க்கடன் வாங்கணும் நாங்கள் நாங்களா தான் பேங்கை தேடி போகணுமே தவிர எங்களை தேடி வந்து அவங்க கொடுக்க மாட்டாங்க இப்போ வெளிங்கிரி உலகன் உற்பத்தியாளர் சங்கம் மூலமாக எங்களை தேடி வந்து அவங்க பயிர்க்கடன் தர்றாங்க இது ரொம்ப நொந்து போன ஒரு விவசாய குடும்பமாக இருந்துச்சு எங்களுக்கு ஆனால் இன்னைக்கு வந்து நான் என்னாலையும் வாழ முடியுங்கிற ஒரு நம்பிக்கை வந்து 
எனக்கு இந்த அபியோ மூலமாக தான் வந்திருக்குதுங்க என்னோடய குழந்தைகளையும் இந்த விவசாயத்தில் ஈடுபடுத்தலாங்கிற ஒரு நம்பிக்கையாக எனக்கு இது மூலமாக தான் வந்துக்குது There are many things to be done on the ground, but if we handle this one thing, India's economy, the agricultural economy can go up 200 to 300 percent in a matter of three to four years time. An enhancement of rural economy means enhancement of economic possibilities for 65 percent of India's population. For this, farmers, producers, organizations to be successful, the corporates in the country, the social organizations, and above all the financial institutions have to pitch in and this will be lucrative for the corporates, this will be very fulfilling for the social organizations and very safe and secure for the banking sector because this organization will benefit all and above all, it will raise the level of life in rural India. This can be a game changer if we do it right. We are at a threshold where we can move an entire mass of population, which is nearly seven hundred million people, from one level of living to another, if we just do a few things right in the coming five years. I request the leaders in every sector that we mentioned to be a part of this and see how we can make this happen in this country.